Grasp is a gameplay interaction system. And here we have it set up using Vigil, which is a focus targeting system, so we know what we're looking at. When I press E, we pick up the coin on the ground. So this is a small showcase set up to demonstrate the capabilities of Grasp. If we proceed through the level, we will find a chest. And it is locked. So now if we come back here, we can take the skull and we can break it, which produces a key. And now we can unlock the chest, which contains a potion that can explode. So we bring the potion to the brazier and place it inside, and then it will blow up the bases blocking your path, and we can reach the door and we can interact with the door to go through it. This is a very simple demonstration setup, but Grasp is fully net predicted and it works for multiplayer games, for shooters, for anything you can think of. Here we have a coin, and if I select it, you can see the visualizer. If I select the graspable sphere, we can select the grasp data associated with it, and we can change the properties that it will be updated on the visualizer, such as the angle we can interact at, or the maximum distance where we can interact, or how far above or below we can interact, and plenty of other properties to customize the interaction. Now for this simple level, if we have another coin that we could not interact with, it is very quick to set it up. We assign the data to our component that we have added, and then we can edit this data, and it's got a gameplay ability assigned, and that's all it takes to make it so we can interact with something. As for the ability itself, it is quite simple. We have the item that we're interacting with here, and Grasp can send this through to the ability for you. And it includes a node that will face towards what we're interacting with, and then it plays a montage. And it's got further logic to destroy what we've just picked up and add it to our inventory. So it's very simple to rapidly create different ways to interact with different objects, such as the skull that we smashed to get the key, or the chest that we unlocked to get the potion. But it's always easy to see what is going on with Grasp, because we have a lot of debugging tools. So we can see from the purple lines, these are pre-granted abilities. We always have the ability to pick up a coin. And the green means that we've been granted this ability because we've gotten close enough to it. If I get out of range, we will lose that ability. If I come back into range, we will gain that ability. And anything sharing the same ability simply retains us having that ability until we're out of range of everything. So we're not being flooded with similar abilities or identical abilities. So Grasp is very simple and straightforward to work with. It gives you a lot of power but it doesn't overwhelm you. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy Grasp.